Hey guys, it's Coach Beza for your light break for Monday the 18th. Um, for those of you who do not know who I am, uh, Coach Beza, I coach uh, weight room, football, and track and field at Concordia. Um, I also have a little sister, Yvonne, who is going to be a senior uh, this upcoming year. I was also a graduate myself from 2013. And my brother, Roby Frozy, who knew him, uh, was a graduate a few years ago as well. So a couple thoughts for today's light break. Um, so when you're watching this, it'll be the 18th and things will be slowly opening up and slowly getting back to normal. Um, and I thought about, you know, that happening and a uh, thought that popped in my head is, you know, I'm wondering um, how we're going to be as a society, as a culture, um, when we all get back to normal, you know. What are the lessons that we're going to be taking away from, you know, the past couple months of what's happened? I know for me, um, leading up to quarantine, life was just go, 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 go. And I didn't really uh, take a lot of time to sit down and relax and to pause and reflect on, you know, my faith and life and all of that. Um, but, you know, when quarantine happened, you know, all of us were shelter in place at home and um it made us spend a lot more time with family um to reconnect in that way and that was um that was huge for me um for me it was also a time to kind of reconnect with faith um not that i was in a bad place in life or anything but i was just not making as much time for uh the aspect of my, as, for my life as uh, i was before and i was going to bible study um, you know, once a week with some friends and I was going to church on Sundays, but, um, I still feel like I could have been, you know, spending more time, you know, dedicating that to, you know, personal time with God and whatnot. So, um, when I, uh, when quarantine happened, uh, my friends who were doing Bible studies, you know, once a week, we actually made that twice a week and we actually spent a lot more time. Um, diving deeper into the word and diving deeper into topics of faith and things we were struggling with as a group. And uh, for me, this has been a huge, huge uh, benefit in my life. Also, um, you know, throughout the years of my life, working out has been a huge way of uh, spending time with God and um, reconnecting with him. And, you know, I've been working a lot more because, hey, there's not much to do. So um, I've been using those workouts, whether it be, you know, uh, weights or going for a run in a neighborhood or a walk. Um, I've been really using that time to um, talk to God and to spend time in prayer and meditation because the way I see faith is not something you do, you know, just on Sundays or, um, you know, once a week or in Bible study. It's, you know, how you live, you know, throughout your day. And uh, exercise is a big part of my life and what I do. Um, so I like to use that as a time to talk to God and communicate with him. Um, also this phrase of be still and know that I am God has been a huge, um, thing that's been on my heart and on my mind these past, uh, you know, couple of months. So I think part of that, why it's been on my mind is because, you know, obviously we're at home and we're still, but also I think, you know, like I was saying before, uh, earlier, you know, in the year, I was, you know, always go, 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 and I didn't have time to really sit down and reflect on um, what was going on around me. So uh, I think, you know, when we get back to normal, you know, whether the, whether it be two weeks or, you know, a month or whatever it is, um, I think a lesson for me that I want to take with me is to spend more time reflecting um, on my life, on my family, and also uh, my relationship with God and how that's going. So see a family, I want to encourage you guys to uh, take that lesson that I've learned um, and see how you can apply it to your life. Uh, this lesson of, you know, taking more time to be still with God and understand him, to understand what he's doing in your life and um, being thankful for what he has done in your life. So uh, that's why I got. I uh, love you all and I uh, hope to see you all soon.